asking Squarespace website designers how they got rich and how they now teach other designers how to do it. In this video, I'm going to be asking three of the most popular Squarespace website designers in the world exactly how they got rich and how they now teach people in order to do the exact same. We're gonna be speaking to Rach DeLuna from Square Stylist about how she went from building Squarespace websites to now teaching thousands of other designers how to make their website stand out. We'll then speak to Sam Crawford, who actually the month before recording this video made 28,000 pounds profit as a Squarespace website designer and how he now teaches Squarespace designers how to make six figures a year. You cannot miss out on that one. And Sam was actually the person that gave me the idea for SEO space, my SEO blogging for Squarespace. And then finally, we're gonna to speak to arguably the biggest Squarespace website designer, Paige Brunton, about how she moved to Germany and basically forced herself in order to make a Squarespace website designer a business a success, all the way until the point she was getting at least one inbound web design lead to her website through SEO, which is obviously something that I love to talk about. And then of course, she'll then be talking about how she's taught over 4,000 Squarespace website designers in order to make Squarespace website design in their full-time thing. So, these three short snippets cannot be missed. And of course, if you like this video, please make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. And first of all, we're gonna head over to Rach. Thank you for coming on, Rach. I really appreciate your time. Would you mind just briefly introducing yourself to, to the watchers, to the listeners, um, before we get into sort of the, the main question everyone wants to know? Thanks so much for inviting me as well. It's my honor. I am Rage, and I'm the founder of Square Stylist, and I'm the creator of Standout Squarespace. I'm a self-taught web designer and developer, and Squarespace has been my platform, website platform of choice for seven years. Me and Rachel speaking before, anyone that I speak to who's done Rachel's course, which we'll get onto in a second, says it's the best thing since sliced bread, basically. But before we get onto that, would you mind telling people how you got here? How did you become a successful designer? How did you become you know, rich in the Squarespace web design world? Okay, so I actually started out with humble beginnings. My degree is in chemical engineering. I practiced it for five years, but then I felt limited creatively. And so when I was planning for my wedding, I rekindled my love for arts. And so I tried calligraphy and from there, I was inspired to turn my calligraphy into digital. So I created logos and then I wanted to create a website for myself. And so I stumbled upon Squarespace and it changed my life <laughs> because um, from then I started offering Squarespace design. Yeah. Um, but because I'm from the Philippines, um, English is not my first language. I was just really intimidated back then. And so Back then, I thought my only option is to offer my talent as a white label service. And so I started out um, charging $800 for every design and development of a Squarespace site. But yeah, I'm just so happy I did that because I was able to learn throughout the process because I didn't have any design background or coding background. But um, those projects inspired me to learn both coding, design, and throughout the process, um, I just learned a lot and um, I started creating my own agency, Creative Boss, wherein I encouraged enterprise level companies in Asia to switch to Squarespace, Squarespace and yeah. they loved it. They actually loved it. And when I felt creatively limited again, I created Squarestyle as a, as a passion project where I share stylish features that you can create on Squarespace. Pretty similar to me in a way. We both got our hands dirty in Squarespace. Okay. I built a travel blog. You were building sites yourself, just figuring it out, learning along the way. And I, I think often, because I did an engineering degree, nothing to do with SEO. That's the best way to learn in many cases, because you learn from making mistakes, which you learn much faster from. Yes, and definitely get attuned uh, with what clients are looking for. Yeah. Um, that's really the best way to learn to really immerse yourself. So you don't have to know everything at the beginning. Of course, um, taking a course will be helpful for you to accelerate the learning journey, but your sites don't have to be perfect before you take on clients. 100%. Because you're going you're gonna to make mistakes along the way and you, you can learn how to improve over time. And you mentioned, obviously, a little bit Square Stylist. What, one of my close friends in Squarespace is a massive fanboy of you. It seems like everyone that's done it 
loves it. Can you please just tell the the listeners a little bit more about Square Stylist, what users can can expect when they when they join the program, and how they can learn more? Sure, actually, Square Stylist is my main brand. Um, and it's more of a creative resource library for web designers. Um, but within Squarestylist, I create courses. My flagship program is Standout Squarespace. And this is where I mentor aspiring and seasoned Squarespace designers to build and create the unexpected in Squarespace by learning code and also by practicing, by meeting modern web design standards. So um, inside the course, it's actually quite packed with a lot of value. So my course um, has two main components, the course and the community. So the course is like the foundational element. I highly recommend that each student go through the course because this will give them an understanding of what responsive design is, what accessibility is in Squarespace, considerations with regard to site performance and SEO, and of course, mastering the Fluid Editor, um, as well as addressing common issues within Fluid. And within the course, we have a project wherein in the first level of the program, I share how they can create an entire website uh, from start to finish such that they really know how to build it from design up to launch. So we have a checklist that we go through the entire program. And then, for example, if they they need help developing, they can just click through those elements. And I also encourage them to try building these on their own before watching my walkthrough. So this is like we have a foundational level, which is all about leveraging the built-in features of Squarespace. But then we also have an advanced level wherein I share advanced coding techniques yeah. from pseudo elements to Flexbox to CSS grids, as well as JavaScript essentials. And so I know coding is not an easy skill to have. And so I made, made sure we have a supportive community. So within the community, they can ask any questions about the course. I personally attend to questions. We also have mentors inside the program, Mika and Manu, who help me go through all the questions that are asked within the community. So they can ask anything from client communication up to more technical stuff like coding. And we have regular workshops wherein I share how to build stylish features within Squarespace such that we can also reinforce the knowledge that I shared within the foundational module. So regularly I share these workshops based on the requests within the community. And I just make sure as well that it's not just copying and pasting codes. It's really more of connecting what they've learned from the foundational modules and how to apply that to actual Squarespace sites. And yeah, I also so notice you had the biz- uh, you had a bit of a business module in there as well. So you're teaching them oh, yes. about like the the aesthetic things that I believe the things I see on your site is things that I've never seen anywhere else in Squarespace. And then you're teaching them how to build a business as well. Yes, definitely. Something that I actually did not highlight that much, but is actually a very integral part of the course is the business. Um, and we have all the templates that you need um, from project proposals to contract references such that even if you're pivoting entirely from one career to being a web designer, you're equipped with those templates, as well as even client discovery, meaning the script that you can use whenever taking sales calls, as well as strategic pricing. And we actually have like an entire knowledge base of all the templates, including email scripts from pitching your services up to offboarding. So we have quite a comprehensive business unit as well as resources within the within the program as well. If people watching this want to get involved, where would you recommend they go to? You can uh, check out the program via standoutsquare.space. Uh, we have different options We do have the foundations tier, wherein you'll just have access to the first part of the program, which is all about leveraging Squarespace features, as well as meeting web design standards. So that's the foundations. But if you'd like to learn more about coding and advanced techniques, that's when you can consider the full version of the program. Um, So that's what you'll find via standoutsquare.space. 
one thing that you also mentioned to me before is you also have guest speakers. I'm also going to be doing one um, SEO for designers in October. So make sure you check it out. Rach obviously has all of those webinars and also has guests on fairly frequently. So always updating it. And you also, as you mentioned, you're updating it for Fluid Engine at the moment as well. Yes. Um, so thank you so much for uh, for agreeing to be one of our guest speakers. Inside the community, we also have a place where we invite experts uh, in different fields, like for example, value-based pricing or accessibility. I'm so happy that you'll also join our expert panel. <laughs> um, so you'll be talking about SEO and in the future, we'll also invite more experts um, yeah. with regard to other topics related to web design as well as building a thriving web design business yeah i probably need that value-based pricing one sounds good but th thanks a lot for coming on Rach. amazing everything that you've done as i've said people speak so highly of you yeah i thank you i also would like to add that i'm also aside from our program i'm also publishing free resources via our youtube channels no. thanks Rach. <laughs> thank you hi sam Thanks for coming on, mate. Look, we are just chatting before and you revealed that last month you made $35,000 profit last month. So sorry to put you on the spot, but what is the <laughs> secret, mate? How are you raking that amount of profit in as a one-person web design business? So I'll give you a brief overview of the process. So a client comes to me via a search or blog post, or I will go to them and I'll find them where they want a Squarespace website. They've already made their decision. So that's going to be on jobs boards or on LinkedIn. Then we can do some outbound, but I usually stick to the top two. So then I'll get them on a call. So scheduling the call straight after the call, I'll get them to fill in my onboard form. Then I'll send them a proposal. All of that should take two to three days tops. Then I get the client in, we'll get them set up with a G drive, and then I can begin work straight away based on the onboard form and everything that they've told me in a call. So all of this takes three to four days, and I can do that for 10 to 15 clients in a month. And the way I work is I take a 50% deposit and 50% on completion. So I've always got cash flow throughout the month. And that process is what allows me to, I call it client stacking. So it's getting as many clients in as possible without dropping the quality. So that is how I get the money. How I actually service them is I will go ahead and build a homepage. After the homepage, I'll take feedback via a software called Markup. It's amazing. And you can annotate all over the website. Change this, change this. We like this. That generates a snag list. Then I'll go away, build the rest of the site, use Markup, iterate consistently until we reach the final point. That can take between a week to three or four weeks. So you see, based on that process, you can stack as many clients without sacrificing yeah, yeah. quality as possible. So that is in a nutshell how I do it. And off the back of that, mate, off the back of this whole process that you developed, you also teach other Squarespace website designers or people that, you know, are looking to make money to become a six-figure designer. So would you mind just sharing a little bit about your course, what it's about, and how if someone is interested to get involved, how they can learn more? Yeah, absolutely. So the website is sixfiguredesign.club. And we're helping, I think we're almost at 100 students and basically... I give you the entire process from start to finish on how to do exactly what I do. And I've had a few people say, oh, well, if it's working for you, why do you teach the secret sauce? And the real reason is because there's, there's way too much work. There's like over 3 million websites just using Squarespace. And that figure is growing every single day. And I can't service them all. There's not enough Squarespace designers as is to service them all. So we need more quality web designers and those who can service more clients. And this is what the course teaches. I actually delivered the SEO portion of Sam's course. Um, thanks for inviting me on, Sam. So yeah, feel free to check it out. It'll be linked in the description. Uh, and Sam also gave me the idea for SEO space. So I wouldn't <laughs> be here if it wasn't for Sam. He's going to come back and see me in the future. But uh, thanks for jumping on, Sam. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how Six Figure Design Club continues to grow, mate. And I'm sure we'll speak soon. Yes. Cheers, Cheers, mate. First of all, Paige, thanks a lot for jumping on again. It's fantastic to speak to you. Before we get to the question that I know people want to hear, would you mind just introducing yourself and letting us know how you teach web designers to, to do what you've done? Yeah. My name is Paige. I have taught over 5,000 people how to be website designers. So I've had the lucky privilege of being able to see behind the scenes of like a lot of web design businesses and get coach students for many years. So yeah, it's 
lovely to be here. <laughs> Fantastic. And you also teach web designers now in order to start a, web, a profitable web design business. Could you just share a little bit of information about that, please? Yeah, totally. So there's really two key things that you need to become a website designer. One is the actual skill of website design. Like you do need to know how to build genuinely fantastic websites. That doesn't mean you need to know how to code. So don't have a heart attack. You don't need to go take a computer science degree or anything, but you do need to pick a web design platform and really learn it inside and out, how to build fantastic websites on it. And the second thing that you need is to know how to run a business, get clients, manage projects, do contracts, all of those things. And so, yeah, I have two courses which help people do those two things, those core secrets, helps you to get those course based web design skills and build really amazing, nothing like template websites. And then Score Secrets Business helps you to actually build and create and run and manage a uber successful yeah. web design business. Yeah. And for anyone listening before the 16th of October, there's a link in the description to go to a boot camp that Paige has got going on, three day boot camp. How did you make six figures in web design? Mm -hmm. Few key things. One, having the confidence to up my prices. I remember I was charging at the very beginning, like two thousand five hundred dollars for a website. And I had always just been an employee. So I was used to like other people just telling me when I made more money. And at some point yeah. a friend suggested, like, you know what? Your websites are really good and what you do is really amazing. You could probably double the price and see no difference in the number of people inquiring with you. And I was like, You're crazy. And then the like thought was planted and I was like, Well, maybe I'll try it. So I just went on my website and doubled the prices and got the same number of inquiries and kept getting them. And I was like, oh, okay. So it first taught me that your pricing, like you are stressing out so much over your pricing, but you really don't need to be. And it's not as uh, important as you might think it is. Um, so one, yeah, just like yeah. knowing that you need to increase your price, like no one else is going to decide this for you. So like you have to, if you want to be hitting higher revenue projects, you need to increase your price um, and making that decision for yourself because there's no boss who's going to tell you to do it anymore. Um so that's one thing. And then the second thing I would say is just smashing a marketing strategy. You really need to pick one strategy that you do consistently with all of my students. The thing which I find is the key is like just getting the number of inquiries in. They also start to be really picky then. They start to figure out how can I scale this business? How could I maybe do templates or something? Because I'm just getting so many inquiries. I can't do all the projects myself. So you really put yourself in a good position to up your prices and maybe take on less projects um, and still hit your six figure a year, even while you're taking a couple months of vacation. Um, if you can really like get the number of inquiries in that you need. So that means picking a marketing strategy is super vital and doing it really well. Yeah. A big paradigm shift for me on your first point, you're actually doing yourself and your clients a disservice if you don't charge more. Because when you charge more, you have more money to invest into your business. The client is more bought in and you've got more resources to provide the best service possible. Uh, a book I recommend is uh, Alex Amosi, Million Dollar uh, Offers, I believe it is, if anyone Great book. Listen. Great book. Uh, the other thing on that point is you make your life so much easier when you have higher, like higher price projects. If you are struggling with the fact that your client's contact content is god awful for their website and you're like i can't build great portfolio pieces because my clients keep giving me the world's most god awful photos when you start getting into those higher price projects they suddenly have had a professional photo shoot and so now they have really great photos which you can build an amazing website with they also significantly respect your time more and your opinion and when you tell them like hey i think it would be good if we actually did this and they pay you 500 bucks for the project they don't care about your opinion because they don't really respect you whereas when they're no. paying 10 grand for no. the project they're like just tell me what to do. Like, you know, you're the expert. They see you as an expert based off the price. So it's also going to make your life, ironically, a lot easier to have those higher paid projects. Yeah. As we already mentioned, if you want to learn how to charge more for your projects, we'll add a link to the boot camp. We'll also add a link to Paige's YouTube channel. But um, thanks a lot for coming on, Paige. Appreciate your Thank time. Thank you. Well, guys, now you've learned from three Squarespace website designers how to get rich. Hopefully, you've got a little bit of an understanding about how they went about doing it, about how they now teach people in order to become Squarespace website designers. And if you are interested in any of the courses that we spoke about in this video, please make sure to head over to the description where I have links to all three of them. And as I've already mentioned, if you do like these videos, if you want to learn more about Squarespace SEO, if you want to get more tips for Squarespace website designers from an SEO expert who actually isn't designing it themselves, then please make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. 
over 80% of people watching this video haven't subscribed, so I'd really appreciate it. And of course, check out SEO Space if you wanna learn more about Squarespace SEO. But of course, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.